We're starting on the back nine today instead of on the front nine. I've already played the front nine, or I'm coming, I'm finishing the ninth hole right now, but we're probably gonna finish something like six over. So not bad, not good. But if we could stay on track there, we might have a pretty decent 18 holes under my belt. So. We're gonna record the back nine. Front nine was a little crowded, a little hectic. Really wasn't able to record what I wanted, but the back nine should be a little better. And I think it'll be good too, because I talked about yesterday how I have a tendency to fall apart on the back nine. So we're gonna see, kind of assess that today and see if we can make any changes there. But I'll see you on the first tee. Yeah, about that. We, before we go over the first tee, we gotta, we gotta talk about what I said yesterday, right? On the range, I mean, I think we all think I had a lot of confidence coming into this. I mean, just listen to this fucking quote. Got that good feeling in my bones that I'm gonna put together a good round tomorrow. I mean, what is that shit? How big of an idiot am I to jinx myself going into the next day? After hitting the ball the way I did and saying like, yeah, tomorrow's gonna go solid, but all right, let's just run through it. Let's just go through the round. All right, so first hole, par four straight away. Alignment's good. Block it a little out to the right. Not a big deal. You know, I hit, struck well, so I walked away pretty happy from that. Now we're over here in the, the next hole's fairway, looking at the flag. I think we've got like 170-something. We've got a seven iron in hand. We're just trying to put it on the green here. Nice smooth swing. Alignment's still good. Uh, kind of blocked it out to the right, right slightly. You're going to end up just right of the bunkers on the green, which is fine. Maybe not fine for the way I chipped the ball, but let's see. We might be able to do something with this. Go. Not a bad chipping stroke there, to be totally honest. I mean, compared to the rain drive videos, this that was much better. Caught the slope a little bit, rolled down. Now we got a little left to righter uphill. Always want to leave yourself an uphill butt. All right, amateur side miss. That's fine. We'll we'll pick that up for the bogey. You know, I earned that. Next hole, we got a par five. Straight away again, maybe slightly left. Hit what looked like kind of a little ropey hook. Not the best shot. Or ended up just over that left hill. Here we are hitting hybrid into the par five. I think I hit it okay. Going to end up short. Um, nice easy chip now. This is a yardage that I think I generally do okay with. I like kind of pitch shots, so we've managed to get that one in a pretty decent spot. Oh, take it back. We're off the back of the green. Um, should be a super easy downhill chip here. And where the fuck are we aiming? What was that? No speed control, no accuracy. Left ourselves a nice long power putt here. All right, again, not a terrible roll. I think it could be much worse. We gave it good speed, ended up close, tap in for bogey. Par three, uh, it's about like 145, pins on the right in kind of a tough spot. Hit it pretty good but I think we're gonna leave ourselves with a long downhill putt here. Not a fun one to have. Yeah, this is probably like 50 something feet downhill. I mean, looking at it now, it's a little more obvious that it's definitely not breaking where the fuck I'm aiming right now. Like I had to put that left of the flag, not fucking right of it, and I blew that by. And a nice block. Right that's good. Can we tap in for the three putt bogey? We can. Next hole, par five. Just trying to put it out towards that tree right down the middle there. Okay. Seemed like it was a good strike. Oh, nope, not a good strike. Hooked it over into the left. Oh yeah, we're in the good stuff. Way below my feet. Just trying to lay up here before the water. All right, nice little scald shot. Over to the left side, gonna be on the rough. Clubbing up twice here, cause we're into the wind, don't wanna be short in the water. Okay, that was that one I remember, I, I felt the good contact. Long though, let's go, in the bunker. We love these out of the bunker shots. 
What can we do with this? Send it long. That seems to be a trend. Going to end up in the rough on the other side of the green again. Love this camera angle. This is really nice. Really down the line. Stock chip. Can we get close here? Oh, here's a normal mistake. Carry it all the way to the flag and let it roll out way past it. That's good. What do we have here now? Right to left. What the fuck is it? Where am I aiming? Just kidding. I know exactly what I'm doing. Not a bad putt. But holy shit, we got to work on speed control because we just blew that by. We'll go ahead and tap that one in for a nice double bogey. Going across the street here over to the par four. It's just over that big fluffy tree. Let's pull a driver here. Let's see what we can do with this. Boom, striped it, straight OB. So we're gonna have to take a drop along the right side. Hopefully that doesn't land in somebody's pool. Here we are, gave myself a really nice drop way below my feet. We are still probably like 155 to the flag. Take a nice big swing at it. Yeah, go ahead and send that long and left. And then, uh-oh, short game time. Here we go. Come on, let's redeem ourselves. Lovely angle here. We got the flag and me from the front. Beautiful sunset. And we'll go ahead and skull that and send it way past the flag. That's fine because this next one, like, look at this, right? Straightforward chip. We're just going to go ahead and put this one into the cup. Come on. And we're going to send that one long too. Okay. Going to go ahead and take my wedge again over this side. Second time to charm. Let's see what we could do. All right. There's a good chip. It only took three tries. We'll go ahead and tap that one in for a lovely triple bogey. This is a dog leg left par five. Pulling driver. Not hit the best, but it should end up in a decent spot here. We could get home in two, but I don't want to tell you the number of times I have ended up in the water. So we're going to go ahead and grab a 50 degree. Lay up just short and try and give ourselves a chance at putting it close here. This one ends up fine. And then now we've got like 150 yards. Try and get something in there tight, but we're going to kind of leave it out to the right on the green, but not as close as we'd like to see, especially after a triple. So got a long one here. This one's going to come right to left. We're aligned way out to the right, it seems. She pulls left pretty hard. It doesn't look like that was bad speed, so we'll go ahead and tap in there and claim our par. Now onto the next hole is a straightaway par four. Uh, pretty short second shot if you really connect with the driver and get it over that right bunker here. So we're going to make good contact. We're going to end up on that right side. I'm pretty much always over there in those fucking trees. So I'm not too unfamiliar with it. We got lucky and kind of got past the big ones. So we have just a nice little wedge here. A little 56 degree, about a hundred yards. Get a nice pitch shot. Very happy with that. Nice uphill putt. A birdie here would be huge. I'm not mad at that roll. That's fine. We'll tap in for par. We'll take two pars. Very happy with that after a triple. Another par four here. Dogleg right this time. Got to take hybrid and try and just leave ourselves a decent shot here. If you hit it over 240, you're going to end up in the water from these tees. Connected with it. We're out in the middle of the fairway. Should be in prime position to try and make something happen here in these last two holes. Like a 145 yard shot should be pretty easy. And we're going to go ahead and end up short left in the bunker. Just fine. Let's just try not to put this one long, right? That's the name of the game. Don't be long. Pretty good bunker shot there. I'm happy with that. Kicked a little right, which is good. It came down that hill to save par. Put a good roll on it though. First one we've actually made it to the hole, not missed on the amateur side. So we'll tap in for bogey. And now a par three island green to finish. 
took some extra club to make sure that we make it there. We're going to be safely on in the back of the green with a wedge in our hands. Just what we wanted, right? Because we would love those today. Should be a straightforward shot. Honestly, I don't know why I don't have a putter in my hand right now. Like, that's not that much fringe to make it through. But here we go. Gave it a run, actually. Pretty accurate compared to the other chips we've had, but didn't leave ourselves with the shortest one coming back here for par. Hopefully, we can get something in here. What the fuck was that? Terrible putt to finish off the back nine, but we'll tap in for bogey here and walk away sort of okay. Oh. It's me. I didn't record an outro to this video, so here I am. We shot a beautiful score of nine over par. How awesome is that? Huge improvement from last week at, I think it was like seven hour or so, the last nine holes. So we're trending down with more practice, so that's good. But it's still early, still lots of room for improvement. I'm not worried, I'm not stressed. I'm chilling. It's only up from here. Mark my words. Make another bold claim. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Look forward to another range rat and then another nine hole video. Oh my god, we'll see. More to come. Stay up, players.